we're actually looking at landslide hazards in Western Washington and just trying to get a better feel of if a slide were to go, what exactly they can expect, how often they can expect that. The emphasis is really on you know, helping people and hopefully saving lives. There was a landslide event in 2014 in Oso, Washington that took 43 lives. It is the largest, deadliest slide in U.S. history. And that event highlighted the need for uh, further research in areas that had previous landslides. We're using consumer-based drone technology, and then we're capturing images using those drones, and then we download those images onto the computer, and then we're able to create 3D maps using the photos that we took. I was originally looking into the idea of using drones and as the technology, just even within the last year, has gotten better, methodologies have gotten better. But despite that, it's not ubiquitous yet, right? So the, the technology is emerging. Uh, it's soon to be ubiquitous. It's going to be everywhere before we know it. And I think that, you know, essentially being able to get in on the ground floor and kind of ride that wave is going to be really meaningful for students. It basically puts them at the cutting edge, really sets them apart from their peers in a way that allows them to market this skill as soon as they get done with their degree. That's kind of where we're going with this, is trying to generate students that have experience with applicable technologies that are in demand right now. There's a huge up ramp to be able to fly a drone and to be able to map a site. I mean, there's so many different things that you have to do, but it's really cool to do. And it's really fun to um, try new things and to get to be a part of stuff that on some aspects is groundbreaking and in other ways is just supporting the scientific community as a whole. Students, and particularly undergraduate students, it's a great way to show them just how applied you know, a geological field of study can really be. It's not just about these big picture questions, it's really about what can I do today to help these people tomorrow. When I started going back to school, I, I really found a, a love in geology, and then this summer has really brought that home to me. and. It's really helped me understand that I'm doing something I really am passionate about and that I enjoy doing. Um, it doesn't really feel like work when you're doing something that you love to do.